As the world evolves, so does the definition of what's normal. That includes how livestock producers manage their cattle. I love this intro. <laughs> wow. LEX 18's Kaylee Randall visited a University of Kentucky farm to see firsthand how workers herd cattle from the sky. Finding cows, finding calves, this can be an essential tool for a lot of producers. Introducing the evolution of technology and cattle management combined. So we're just trying to think about, we have this device that's commercially available, can this be something that people utilize on their farm? With a more than $900,000 grant awarded to the University of Kentucky Martin Gatton College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, Josh Jackson and his team invested in new technology to explore how to safely herd, monitor, and collect physiological data from cattle for the next five years. So what we found was that if we fly uh, with a single drone about 30 foot above ground level, the cattle don't seem to care too much about the drone being within their vicinity. We also found that if we fly multiple drones, they do respond and flight pattern does matter. Jackson admits drones are more reliable than cattle dogs because they increase the safety for animals and farmers. Eventually, drones will collect weight and health estimates through 3D imaging without farmers physically handling the animal. I call it the Fitbit for cows, and so we put this on the cows so we're able to measure their heart rate. Now, the Ag Engineering Department has these small drones to help manage cattle in the area. But they also have this very large drone that they put chemicals inside to help maintain the health of their pastures. Just going along fence lines, spraying some herbicide, you know, getting rid of weeds. So this could be a very effective tool for some of our cattle operations across the state. The, ability, the flight gives a lot of dynamic capabilities. A lot of producers, I tell them, if you can check cows without ever having to, without ever having to open a gate, that's a huge benefit to them. At the moment, the drones aren't cost effective, but Jackson says there is hope over time to make it more financially affordable. In Fayette County, Kaylee Randall, LEX 18 News.